Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. This is the fifth in a series of videos on the topic on existing in harmony with other beings on and beyond Earth by Alice B. Claggett. This, the fifth in the series, is entitled Demons, Devils, Satan, and the Fallen Angels. Demons are dark and ugly in appearance. To me, they look like dark, ominous clouds hovering round and sometimes enveloping human beings. As of a few weeks ago, the last demons have left the great cities of Earth. There may be a spare demon or two, here or there, hiding out in a dark anomaly or bubble. If so, these will soon be gone off-world, or else through transformation to their God nature. Devils. Devils are astral animals. They used to appear to me to be red and fiery. They could change their size at will. But back in the day, before December 2012, so as to do their work on their human cattle, they would often appear to be two or three feet long. Often five or six would quote unquote mine the electromagnetic fields of one human being at night, turning heart energy to darkness fit for their own nourishment. This was before the shift in December 2012. After that date, they found it harder and harder to turn our energy fields to the dark. They began to turn on one another, consuming each other. Now there are none left at all on earth as far as I can tell. Satan. Satan used to be a living, walking, and flying force in the neospheric plane of Earth. I did not like him at all. One must be brusque with such sorts and unequivocally aligned with the light. Only the angelic realm can counter the powers of Satan on Earth during the Age of Darkness. Only very recently he was ferried off-world to a place where there are plenty of other such beings. Fallen Angels The Fallen Angels were Archangel Michael fractals that agreed to stay with Earth during the recent 10,000 year Age of Darkness. As Earth transformed to greater dark, according to their prior agreement to oversee the Age of Darkness, the Fallen Angels also changed, became what we term fallen. As civilization advanced, the great cities of Earth became their fiefdoms. Various among us have, in quotes, read them their rights, end quote, so that the Galactic Council can assign them to rehab to get their great fields of light back in tip-top shape. From their off-world transformational light baths, they will be reassigned to Earth or to other galaxies. There are plenty of positions awaiting their care. That's it for now, dear ones. May you be blessed with love and light and peace and joy. And may you always walk in God's grace and wisdom. That's a raven.